Hey guys, what is up? So for today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys ways, motivation on how to pick yourself back up, how to live and feel alive. Okay, so if you are feeling down and let's say you've been in a rut, which is totally normal, you gotta come to terms with that and stop blaming if you were blaming anybody for your circumstances and know that you have control of your life. Just know that it's okay to feel down sometimes and I've talked about this a lot before in my other videos, but it's really important to repeat because a lot of the times if we feel unmotivated or we feel like sleeping all day or we just don't feel like we're in the best mood just know that that is okay and that's just a part of life sometimes our body's way of telling us that we need rest is to bring on those emotions of feeling down and just think of that as your body's way of nurturing itself it's telling you that you need to fall into those emotions and you need to stop resisting the more you resist the more that those feelings and emotions are going to keep accumulating and then it's gonna just like pile up and become worse and worse so the number one thing that you should do if you're feeling down or in a rut is just give into it and feel those emotions if you need to cry about it cry about it if you need to sleep for a couple of days then sleep for a couple of days you got to listen to your body we kind of label feeling down or feeling unmotivated or being lazy or staying in bed for a couple days we associate those things with it being negative but what if everything is just neutral what if everything is just the way that it is and it's just a part of life so not associating those emotions with being negative and just taking them for as they are and listening to your body and following them and not resisting them because at the end of the day it's so true like that kind of lit a spark in my brain when i heard that i'm like that is so true like we feel things for a reason so tune into that and follow your emotional guidance system and let it lead you okay so the next step that i have for you guys one thing that really helps that kind of actually does connect inwards and you wouldn't really think about it that way but is cleaning out your space like declutter your shit. For me personally, when my room, let's say, is very cluttered and there's shit all everywhere, it's a mess, that literally connects to how I feel when I wake up. Like if I wake up in a messy room, I automatically am thinking negative things and then that trickles on into my day. Cleaning up your space and keeping it neat and organized, I feel like can be such a huge factor in how you're feeling inside. And not just doing that, but if you guys haven't looked through your closet in a long time or just like in general decluttered your home or your room or whatever your space is, do a big declutteration because if you come home every day and you feel stuck and you come home to your messy house with all your clutter everywhere, you've had these tops in your closet that you haven't worn in 10 years and everything is just so jam-packed with old things that you don't even use anymore that don't serve you at the moment, that can like pile up mentally and you may, you may not even notice it. But that could be a huge factor in why you're constantly feeling down is because your space, like your home and whatever your space is, you obviously want that to feel feel like your safe place and your peaceful spot because it's your home. Honestly, declutter, clean, and go through your closet, get rid of those old things that don't serve you anymore or your old objects in your house that don't serve you anymore. Do a huge declutteration and giving away all that stuff or throwing away that stuff, it's the best feeling to have like a decluttered, clean space. Like I am telling you, I feel like it just connects so much inwards because it's essentially your home it's your space so you want that to reflect like what's on the inside and also just make sure that with the stuff that you're keeping you kind of connect to and it makes you feel happy like if you have let's say like this random shirt and you're like eh, i'll just keep it because i find it so much more beneficial to just if it doesn't make you happy throw it out because you don't need that this build energy there if that may even makes sense like you need to start feeling alive again which means you got to throw out the old make sure to put yourself first like a lot of the time we can live like robots and we're just doing our generic thing we're just doing our daily routines and we're just doing what we've always done waking up whatever it is maybe going to work coming back and we're just so focused on that and we're not taking care of ourselves and that can like eventually pile up and lead to you not feeling so great and like I said it all happens like your emotions all happen for a reason so make sure that you're putting yourself first and you're taking care of yourself even if that means like one day a week 
taking yourself out going to get your nails done pampering yourself whatever makes you feel good on the inside that makes you glow from within out and makes you feel more alive like for example if i haven't taken a shower in a few days in a couple of days i'll feel like not myself like i'll start feeling gross and that totally messes with me mentally and so a lot of the things like the way that you're catering to your physical body also can have a huge impact on how you feel on the inside. So make sure that you're taking care of yourself, whether that be mentally, physically, however it is, make sure that you are paying attention. Nowadays, we have so much at our fingertips that we take for granted. So surround yourself with motivation. If that's listening to a podcast, a motivational podcast, I know I've mentioned that you guys should do this before, but it really, really does help. Like fueling your mind with motivational shit, it really does help. Whatever it is like whatever you find um, your motivation within or whatever who you look up to motivation for make sure you're getting a dose of that every single day because if you don't it can wear off so let's say a doctor prescribed you this pill that you have to take for the rest of your life and he's like if you don't take this then you're going to be sick so you're taking it and then if, once you stop taking it you're going to start feeling sick again you have to keep taking that pill every single day in order to not feel sick and it's kind of the same thing with like motivation if you don't feed that like you're going to get unmotivated if that even makes sense and also if 90% of the people in your life aren't motivating you go find some new people that do because that is also so important like the people that you hang out around who is challenging you who is helping to make you a better person who is motivating you and who believes in you that you can accomplish your goals surround yourself with people who can boost you up like that because people that you surround yourself with are kind of like the people who you become more like so pick and choose who you surround yourself with because I find it so important and it definitely like affects my mood personally if I'm hanging around somebody or people that don't necessarily support me and don't motivate me and don't believe in me. Um, I can feel that and it doesn't feel so good and it makes me not feel so good sometimes. So make sure that you're, you're surrounding yourself with the right people. So if you're feeling in a rut, you're not feeling alive, what are you doing every day? Are you stepping out of your comfort zone or are you sticking to that same boring routine that you've been doing for 10 years and you hate? Are you still going to that same job that you have been for 10 years and you hate but you're too scared to step out of that because you're letting fear guide you? Now, if you want to feel alive, you have to take risks. If you let fear lead the way, you're never going to step out of your comfort zone and you're never going to do anything that you really want to do. Is what you're doing right now making you feel dead inside? Is that why you're in the rut? Think about it and reflect on that and think about what would make you happier. Is there another job that you're too scared to apply for because you don't know if you're going to get it that would essentially make you happier but you're too scared to step out of your comfort zone? Step out of that comfort zone because if you stay in there for the rest of your life, then you're never gonna feel alive. You're not. You're always gonna feel dead inside. Or you're always gonna feel robot-like. It's like, sometimes I feel like in our society, we're just sheep and or robots that just all want, do the same thing and all follow the same thing because we let fear lead the way. But one of the things that made me feel the most alive in my life was dropping out of college. That made me honestly feel the most alive in my life because that is the biggest risk, I guess you can call it, that I've ever taken. That's like the biggest decision I've ever made. So that made me feel so alive inside because I'm like, wow, like that just like opened my eyes to everything else. And I'm like, holy shit, like I did it. Like give, it gives you that adrenaline to keep going and keep, to keep doing things that are gonna make you happy and that are gonna make you feel essentially alive. So if you wanna pick yourself back up and if you're in a rut, just think about it and think about like, is what I'm doing right now, is this making me feel alive? Is it making me happy? And reflect on that. And if it's not, then think about what you want to do and the steps that you can take going forward to get there. If you're feeling stuck, think about maybe something that you can start doing. So something new, because you never know what that'll lead to. Any opportunity you take is going to lead you to other things. No opportunity can go to waste. Even if you take an opportunity and it doesn't work out, then you know that that's not going to work out and maybe that'll lead you to another door. You really never know. I feel like that's like one of the keys to life is to do what makes you feel uncomfortable sometimes because that's when you'll come out stronger. So another tip for feeling alive, getting out of your rut is to take a social media or just a phone in general. I understand like you need to have your phone on you for safety reasons sometimes, but social media in general, take a damn detox off of that because I feel like nowadays we're so programmed into our phones and it's like every spare second we get I'm guilty for this a lot of the times as well, but every spare second we get, we're on Instagram, we're scrolling through something, we're being entertained by our little devices. And I feel like a lot of the times that 
makes us miss parts in life and you can sit on your bed scrolling through TikTok for five freaking hours then feel guilty about doing that and sometimes it can put you even in a more deep rut because then you have that guilt of being on your phone for so long and you're like oh my god I could have been doing this and then you think of all these scenarios in your head that make you feel even worse so try honestly just take one day just say tomorrow I'm not gonna go on my phone at all if you go out okay carry your phone out for safety purposes but even if you have to like delete all your social media apps you're not on your phone all the time do it because you can be stuck behind this little last screen in your bed for days on end and it's so easy because you have everything at your fingertips here so once you put this down it'll make you it'll broaden your horizons and make you think like since i don't have this to entertain me what can i do now go in nature go for a freaking nature walk nature heals all wounds it really does it makes you feel alive like when i'm in nature i feel the most alive even if i just set up a damn blanket and i'm in the trees i'm in the forest i'm near a lake and i just hear the sounds of the water it makes me feel so alive way more alive than scrolling through it on TikTok for five hours. It's so healing and it's so peaceful and you can't go wrong. And I feel like since these have become so popular, we've had our faces shoved in them and sometimes we don't look up to see how beautiful things really are around us. And it's harder to see everything because we're so distracted. Count your blessings. And I know I say this a lot, but it's so true because you have to realize what you really have. You can complain as much as you want, but the moment that you're truly grateful for that is the moment that you're gonna live a happy life and you're gonna feel the most alive. Even if you have nothing, even if you have zero dollars to your name, you can find something to be grateful for. Whether that's the sun coming out or whether you get to see out of your eyes or whether that's just being able to experience this life and being on this earth. You can always find something to be grateful for and that's the beautiful thing about gratitude is that there's never nothing to be grateful for. And once you start tapping into that and being grateful, you'll feel so alive inside because you'll keep noticing new things and better things will keep starting to happen to you and it'll be like a snowball effect so this is like a little saying what if you woke up tomorrow and only had the things you thanked god for last night you're only going to start feeling alive and you're only going to start getting out of that rut if you start making decisions for yourself and not for other people make decisions based on what you want to do and not what sally across the street or your parents or society want you to do start making decisions for yourself and and tune into what you want to do and tune into what is going to make you happy because at the end of the day last time I checked nobody else is in your body except you you're the only one who knows what's going to make you truly happy you're the only one who knows what makes you happy and therefore you're the only one who can make a decision for yourself because you're the only you like you're you your parents aren't you Sally isn't you so at the end of the day if your life doesn't make sense to anybody as long as it makes sense to you that's all that matters. You don't need to explain yourself to anyone. No one deserves an explanation from you. If you want to do something, then do it. And just because you wanted to is good enough. And the last tip that I have for you guys is stop waiting for the perfect moment because that'll sometimes never happen, okay? And what I mean by that is like a lot of the times people are like, oh, I'm just waiting for the perfect opportunity to quit this boring job that I've been miserable in for the past 10 years. And it's like, so when's the perfect moment ever gonna be? You can go on like this for another freaking 30 years and never have the perfect moment a lot of the times or most of the time there's never going to be a perfect moment you just have to put your foot down and do it you just have to take initiative and do it because the perfect moment may never come you have to create that perfect moment you just have to sometimes do it so if you're feeling in a rut and you're making all these excuses for yourself and you're blaming your problems on other things realize that you're in control of that and you're in control of how you're going to pick yourself back up when you're going to pick yourself back up put your foot down start making the changes now because if you don't do it now, then you're always going to make ex excuses for why you can't do it in the future. So yeah, you guys, that was how to feel alive when you're feeling stuck in a rut or how to pick yourself back up. Those are just my personal tips. I hope you guys enjoyed. I feel like nowadays in society, it's so normalized to like put shame on people that are feeling down and being lazy because they feel stuck and all this stuff but it's like no that's normal you don't have to label it as bad that's just 
people going through life and that's just people experiencing different things and being in different moments and parts of their life that maybe is crucial for what they're going to come out and learn from it. And yeah, just know that it's totally normal for you to be feeling these emotions if you're stuck in a rut, if you're not feeling alive and, and everyone is eventually going to go through something similar. So just know that there is light at the end of the tunnel and you can pick yourself back up out of it and you can feel alive again. I believe in you. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you. Please leave any video requests that you guys have down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace out. I just caught a vibe. Simple. Find me back to life. Simple. I just want to fly. Simple. Do the things they lie about. <laughs> so I had it.